Hello, today I will be doing a video on Followed. A vlogger and his filming crew visit a supposed haunted hotel for three days and three nights in order to gain subscribers for his YouTube channel. If he reaches 50,000 subs, he gets a $250,000 sponsor. The lead character, who is a popular vlogger, he goes out and explores different haunted locations, and he did a very good job at playing an annoying YouTube personality, a YouTube personality that I personally hate that so many people end up doing. I thought he captured the fake, over-energetic vlogger very nicely. Towards the end, I realized this guy is just a bad actor. His voice is very over the top, and I thought that that was the typical vlogger persona, but it was actually just him not knowing how to act. Cause in scenes where they're supposed to be scared, and he's supposed to be like out of his persona, his voice seems off, and it kind of ruins it. I will say he does have a nice scream. The movie did surprise me in some ways. I was worried that it would be a Grave Encounter ripoff. This wasn't as scary as Grave Encounters, but it was still freaky at times. Despite the mediocre acting, it had a nice chase scene in the hotel. I also liked how there are scenes that even take place outside with a lot of people around. It makes you feel like there's no place that is safe. Whereas in other movies, it's very isolated, and all we want is the characters to get out of there and run to safety. It did a really good job at making some of the scares seem fresh. It kept things exciting. It did a lot of things that I've never seen before. The twist was also really creepy. I had a fun time with this. I just wish the acting was better. That was the biggest flaw. It did take me out of the movie at times. I also wish they had done more with the basement because that was supposed to be the big finale and would get the guy's channel over the threshold and everyone was demanding the crew go down there. The hotel basement was very creepy and I'm like, how did you not do more with this? Also, they could have done more with the camera drone. It's used only once in this very creepy scene and the footage was unsettling even though nothing was happening. Just the imagery was spine tingling. And then it just ends. And I'm like, what the hell? But overall, I thought the movie was decent. It was low budget, but I guess it did what it accomplished. It could have been a lot better with a few tweaks here and there. And I give it a six out of 10.